Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video what I'm doing is um, some sketching. Let's try to go from this thumbnail drawing all the way to a rough sketch, okay? Um, so first things first, I'm going to come up with some kind of a, a rough sketch, or a thumbnail sketch, pardon me, of my character, and you kind of see that I've already got it right here. And I've got two examples of the exact same file. So if I can kind of click over here in this file, I can go and start to draw stuff. Um, on a brand new layer. So here, let me just kind of sketch and start to sculpt out this character. And I'm gonna go for nice broad strokes to try to get the anatomy of the character just about right. I could start to think about costume as well. So maybe I can consider what the character is gonna work, wear, and then like, what are some of the other, um, you know, silhouette features that I could really push. So if there are gonna be certain things, you know, with the boots that I can push outwards to get a little bit better of a shape, I'm gonna go for it, okay? So here's me spending a little bit of time figuring out, you know, what the, what the legs are gonna look like. I'm not gonna worry about erasing. Again, this is just a rough sketch. I'll go back in a little bit later and I'll just really define some of these characteristics and make them come to life. I could put as many of these layers in as I want, okay? So the next thing that I would do is I would think about, you know, okay, what is the, um, what is some of the rest of this stuff going to look like? So now that I've spent a little time, um, I can, I can again, push the silhouette, but then look what's happening on this other screen. Both of these files are exactly the same, except if I start here and I'm looking really far away, I'm not going to get bogged down and make mistakes when trying to do some of the details. But when I'm ready, I can come back in to this file and then I can really try to figure out like, oh, okay, what are some of those other characteristics and those, you know, those uh, parts of the sketch that I need to fit in there. So let's go do that. Now I'll go in and it's, it's a little zoomed in and I'm not going to be afraid to erase, erase because again, um, what am I doing? I'm just rough sketching. I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is this character going to look like? You know, you want to go for the biggest brush that you can get your hands on in the beginning. That's not going to mess things up and, you know, get you to draw freely. However, you know, you don't want to spend too much time on some of the details. Okay, so now... I'm in a little bit closer and I could start to sculpt and make this thing come to life. And, and I'm choosing some of the lines from my, my brownish sketch that's underneath, but I'm not too worried about choosing every single one of those lines because, you know, that's just not going to be necessary. Okay, so anyways, um, What I like to do is I like to go back and forth repeatedly. So I'll spend a little bit of time in this blown up view. And then after I'm done in the blown up view, then I'll go back and do some of the details over here. And it's cool because you can, you can kind of see as I'm doing the sketches here on the right side. So here's my brush. The actual thing is the brush, the brush size and the line thickness, it appears thinner. Even though when I go back over here, let me just kind of move this down, you can see that it shows up a little thicker. And I'm not spending any time changing the actual brush size. If I wanted to change the brush, the brush size, then I actually could, but you know, I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. So at any rate, I think we can call it for this video. Um, so again, give this a shot. You want to start with a, you want to start with some kind of a rough sketch take this thing, bring down the opacity to like 20, 30, 40%. Let's get a new layer on top of it and then start sketching things out. And if you'd like to get this, uh, this dual screen setup of the exact same document, then what you would do is in Photoshop, you would go to window, arrange, and then you would, you know, get a new version of that actual document. So notice mine's titled Untitled One. So just go do that. Um, again, go to Window, Arrange, click on that button, and then go back to Window, Arrange, and then you can go and press this two up vertical, and then you could start to, 
you can start to adjust, you know, the amount of space in between the two and you can, oops, you can, you can focus on this one as a large, focus on this as a small. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. See you in the next video. Thanks.